There is no wrong way to use HST Online, so you can jump in and explore on your own. But if you would like a bit more direction, this is the video for you. There is a comprehensive user guide with step-by-step -step directions for each feature of HST Online. The help link in the top right of each page of the program will take you directly to the related topic in the user guide. Once inside the user guide, the search box at the top of each page will allow you to search through the entire user guide for any topic you like. Also, the help link at the top of each page in the user guide will take you to the main directory. If you need specific technical assistance, you may send an email to support at homeschooltracker.com. Join our moderated discussion group and exchange ideas with other Homeschool Tracker customers. Now let's get started by reviewing the basic elements of HST Online. Assignments are the schoolwork tasks we give our children to complete, such as a math lesson or a word list for spelling. The assignment is at the heart of all your HST Online records and is required to produce agendas, report cards, and transcripts. Assignments can also be used to automatically track attendance and generate to-do lists for your students and produce a number of other reports. The lesson plan feature is an optional planning tool that can be reused for multiple students and over multiple school years to create scheduled assignments. Assignments are viewed either in the agenda list view or agenda calendar view alongside other agenda items such as appointments, attendance, chores, and days off. When an assignment is marked as complete by teacher, other areas of the program use this information to automatically create an attendance record for that date or generate a grade for a report card or transcript. The assignment has only three fields that are required, student, subject and course, and date. Smart entry fields let you add or select items from your maintenance lists without ever having to leave the assignment page. There are over 20 additional fields that you can use, some of which are hidden by default, but they can be turned on or off in program options. Here's an example of how some of the optional assignment fields are used. Use the activity field to specify the type of work to be done. Use the resource field to track which book or workbook is needed for an assignment. This field is used in the resources report to produce a list of materials used during the year. The location field can be used to produce reports of where work was completed. Topic, page lesson chapter, and custom fields allow you to further define the specific task to be completed. Add hyperlinks for websites that are to be used in the assignment. The skills list is used to track skills progress and learning objectives. Keep track of which supplies are needed to complete an assignment. Student Directions and Teacher Notes areas are free text fields that you can use as you wish. Now assignments can be created in a number of different ways depending on your personal planning style. You can add assignments individually, entering them one at a time with as much or as little detail as you feel necessary. Or you can use our powerful copy tools to generate a group of assignments all at once. Third, you can duplicate assignments from one student to the same student or even a different student. And last, you can use the scheduler tool to create assignments from an existing lesson plan. To make your planning experience an enjoyable one, please remember to start simply by entering a few assignments in the agenda. Use the help link at the top of each page to access the related topic in the user guide. Go to program options to turn on optional fields or change other settings in the program to customize your experience. And before you sit down and schedule every single assignment for the entire school year all at once, please read the user guide topic for the lesson plan feature. Now go and feel free to experiment and explore, because as we say, there is no wrong way to use HST Online. For additional information, please visit our website.